we got the aforementioned Canada versus Spain right now. Our good buddies up north, Canada, lane nine, minus 400 on the money line. Spain, plus 300 on the money line. Total sitting at 168 and a half. Uh, for me, I'm on Canada laying the points. I, I, I see Canada as a um, I, as kind of just a better, ver- a similar version of the Australia team, and it's certainly a better version. Australia handled Spain uh, 92 to 80. Canada handled Australia 93 to 83. I, I don't know if that's always the best way to break things down, uh, but I think in this matchup it is because I do see some similarities between this uh, Canadian team and the Australian team. And uh, Canada has some top level stars. Uh, I think they, I think, I think Spain is going to have their hands full and Spain maybe coming off a, a win where they didn't expect to win. I think that's a good time to fade them. So I, I will lay the nine with the, with Canada here. Uh, Noops, how say you? I think Canada is going to absolutely beat the pants off of Spain. Now, Canada is in a situation here where they're in. They're going to move on. They're, at worst case, they lose this game somehow, and they finish 2-1. and one. Um, They should have still a better point differential than anybody. They're going to win this game. But I think Spain's going to score a bunch of points here. Again, talked about the team totals earlier. I continue to think that's a good angle. The team total for Spain is 80. You go back and look at their first two games, and now it's going to sound a little more simplistic at first, but they scored 84 points against Greece and 80 against Australia. Uh, you look at that game against Australia, they got up 69 shots, but only shot 39%. There's a lot more upside in that. They probably more often than not score 85, 86 points in that game, except for the 80. You go back to the game, they scored 84, just 57 shot attempts there. So a little bit of slower pace against Greece. Canada is happy to play fast. I think this is going to feel a lot like the game against Australia in terms of pace. Both teams got up 69, 67 shots themselves. I don't, again, expect them to keep it as close as Australia did, but Spain has pushed. They're a team that has continued to play well deep into games, you know, whether it be national pride, whatever the reason is, they continue to be one of those teams that pushes and not one of the ones that folds up here. So I think they should get to at least 80 points here, probably closer to 83, 84. So give me a Spain team total over in a game where I expect them just to be running up and down the floor at the end when nobody cares because it won't matter. Get those, uh, get those garbage points. Maybe some uh, over player props. Doug, are, are you with me on Canada, or are you rocking Spain here? So I'm rocking Spain, but I, I am certainly concerned about the hangover spot, right? Like the flat spot off the big win. But I also think Canada is going to play down to its opponents. Again, I've said it before. This is JV version of Team USA, right? They're 11 NBA guys. They don't yeah. have the advantage that sort of the fly in the ointment that the Germanys, the Frances have in Australia, where they are so much more polished with the European game or international game that I worry about, um, you know, just their lackadaisical sort of mindset. And Spain's going to still be pretty hungry. I think I can get behind Noops' team total more than anything. I I do think they're going to run and gun, chuck and duck kind of thing. But the market was at 10. It's come down to nine. I think Canada, you know, this is like, these crazy games we see in football, the backdoor cover, that kind of stuff down the stretch, <laughs> but I don't see a total blowout here. Yeah, it does feel like it could be competitive. Uh, maybe last couple shots, hopefully get the Canada cover for myself. Uh, but again, a guaranteed winner or maybe a push in here uh, for the bet us listeners. Uh, I like Canada minus nine, lock that up for me, Doug, like Spain and the points noops, uh, team total over 80 for Spain. And even as a uh, Canada backer, I, I see the case um, for that one as well. 